people say to you, well, don't you know when you get married, you're like, don't worry about it. You guys will figure it out. Will you? doing a show called Between Brothers. Oh, man. And the producers were casting a role opposite me. I got this call. They wanted me to do a guest spot on uh, his show. And I was like, yeah, I would love to come do it. And our first scene together was in bed. <laughs> I still remember him coming down the stairs. I was already in the bed of this scene. He might have been rapping or something. He was really putting on the show. Um. <laughs> and that day, we went on lunch and I said, what are you doing for lunch? She said, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be able to hang out with you. I was like, why? Why not? She said, because I'm, I'm gonna wind up liking you. And I was like, ah, get out of here. So she turned around and behind her back, I was like. <laughs> <laughs> great love affair right away. We laughed, we connected. She reminded me of home because, you know, she's from the south side of Chicago, me being from Brooklyn, so we grew up in some pretty rough environments. She's helped me grow because she challenges me to do so. Get it! Woo! I think our competitive spirit keeps us together. Like it's almost like we we will not let marriage beat us, and we are going to win, uh, no matter what, no matter even if it kills us. <laughs> no. <laughs> I really remember every memory here. This was first daddy and daughter dance. But this is when Who's we were just it? dating, and we used to ride motorcycles. Yeah. This was us as spies. Yeah, no. <laughs> we saved the world a few times. There's no way without the support at home that I would have been able to do the things that I'm doing. Wheel of Time, which I shot in Prague. Then The Gilded Age, which was enormous. Then directing the season finale for Winning Time. And I can't even imagine what's going to be happening in the next year. This is our life. <laughs> what are you doing? Every single day, all we're trying to do is to be a model that our kids can safely mirror as they get older, where they see, okay, that's what a woman looks like who has a career and has a family. That's what a man looks like who has a career and who has a family. So those are the kinds of things that we want for ourselves, because honestly, we didn't get them, you know, as kids. It's one of the reasons why I wrote Male versus Man, so that males get the information and instruction that they need to matriculate into manhood, and why I'm writing my relationship book so that people get the information and instruction that they need in order for them to have a healthy and whole relationship. The thing that I love the most about Dandre is his real desire to be the best husband he can be, the best father he can be, the best man he can be. It's rare that not even, I don't even want to say man, and people in general are striving to be the best person that they can be in life. And that is what I uh, envy in him and that I, I cherish the most in him.